It looks deceptively real, nearly indistinguishable from the original, even at second glance. But if you take a closer look, you will see that the Swiss Air Force's Ground Operations Mobile Training System is actually a detailed, full-scale replica of the F-A-18 Hornet fighter aircraft. Prospective Air Force soldiers are first introduced to the Ground Operations Mobile Training System in their 10th week of recruit school. The recruits learn how to handle the real systems correctly by working on the training model, one step at a time and in a safe environment. This full-scale training model has been developed in Switzerland and is made of wood, fiberglass, metal and original FA-18 parts. The canopy can be opened and shut electronically, both from inside by the pilot and from outside by Air Force soldiers. The cockpit is also true to the original with the small but significant difference that the model's cockpit can be safely worked on for however long it takes to learn every move and to answer every question. The training model is the same size as the real thing, but weighs only a third. Nevertheless, with its six and a half tons, it is ideally suited for gaining first training experiences in aircraft towing. Thanks to state-of-the-art technology, the instructor can choose from a range of possible scenarios and customize training sequences, which massively increases training efficiency. With the FA-18 training model, the education and training needs of recruit schools, conscript and professional units can be met completely without using real systems. An aircraft is on fire. For rescue forces, the first challenge is approaching the burning aircraft safely. When working with fire engines and fire fighting crews, every move must be right. With the life-sized training model, processes for securing missiles and putting out fires can be taught safely and without restriction. What's more, real FA-18s cannot simply be hosed down with water like the training model here, at least not without needing extensive repairs afterwards. Practicing processes on the training model is the best way to train soldiers for real-life situations. As all functions are recorded individually, instructors can simultaneously assess the exercise in detail. This allows us to train specifically for an emergency. Pilot rescue is such an emergency. It's precisely where the model provides more training options than a real aircraft. Delicate processes inside the cockpit, such as securing the ejection seat, can be practiced safely under the instructor's watchful eye, an unthinkable undertaking with a real FA-18. This system allows us to carry out exercises autonomously at any time and independently from regular flight operations. Miring an airbase. The crash and fire rescue unit is being mobilized. An FA-18 aircraft has gone off the runway after landing and has collided with a car. The task now is to rescue the aircraft as quickly and as carefully as possible. 
without causing any more damage to the plane. This is a case for our experts. Using heavy equipment, the airbase's professional aircraft recovery team gets to work. Recovery can be tricky. Thanks to the training model, risky maneuvers like this one can be practiced again and again. The best training thanks to the best tools. The Ground Operations Mobile Training System for FA-18 aircraft offers as realistic training options as is possible.